Okay, so here we go. So first of all, uh, very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody in the call. Uh, wonderful to have you all here today. We are today uh, in Modfin Boardroom Talk. It's uh, our monthly series of uh, discussions with the senior executives in the banking industry and sharing their thoughts and ideas and talking about the future. My name is Roy, uh, or rather, as you can see, you know, as you can see in the slide, it's Indranil Bas Roy. I'm the Chief Business Officer of Modfin, and I'll be the one moderating today's session. And along with me, I have got Teza. Teza is the country head, and uh, you know, and retail and uh, for for retail and digital banking for uh, Atlas Mara Bank Zambia. So, hello, Teza. How are you? Uh, I'm very well, thanks, uh, Roy. Uh, uh, good day to you. Uh, very glad to be here. Wonderful. Glad to have you here as well. Uh, Teza, if you can switch on. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, how Great. are you? No, we're doing good, thanks. Uh, and uh, I think uh, we we are happy to to be part of uh, Modfin's uh, bordering conversation. Wonderful to have you as well. It's, uh, it's our honor. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time out. So how are things in Zambia? Um, things are, are, are pretty good. Um, I think we are all trying to make the most of, of the current uh, economic environment uh, and also uh, adjusting to, to, to what COVID presents. Uh, a very uh, 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 important time for us uh, that provide financial services to really gather our innovative hearts and see right. how best we, are, we ensure continuity uh, in terms of provision of services to our customers. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. For the benefit of everybody who has just joined the call, uh, so we have got uh, Mr. Teza, who is uh, the head of uh, retail and digital banking at Atlas Mara Zambia, just to give a short introduction about, uh, uh, about him. So he has been a banker for the last 20 years plus and has been in various senior roles and in senior capacity. Uh, before uh, Atlas Mara, he was part of uh, Zanaco, which is the leading bank in Zambia. And he was the chief digital officer there. And before Zanaco, uh, and, he, and as part of Zanaco, and as well as, as part of Atlas Mara, he has been part of a lot of uh, transformative initiative around digital and uh, consumer banking space. Before that, he has spent uh, uh, almost, I think, 14 years, if I'm correct, Teza, in Standard Chartered in, in various right. capacity. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was the head of client experience, uh, you know, for Standard Chartered in Zambia. He was the general manager of integrated distribution uh, as well, and also, uh, you know, general manager personal banking. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that's, that's a phenomenal career, uh, I must say, you know, uh, taking up uh, such senior positions and being part of such... Uh, uh, phenomenal initiatives that each of these banks have taken over the years and uh, you uh, spearheading some of those. Uh, wonderful to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, it has been a wonderful journey uh, and, and always looking for, for greater opportunities to, uh, to serve our customers better uh, in whatever form they may, uh, they may come to us. Fantastic. And and now as I as I see you are a hardcore Atlas Mara guy, right? So with uh, with Atlas Mara, you know, logo embedded in your sh in your shirt, you know, <laughs> it's your Atlas Mara at heart, I guess. Yes, yes, definitely. I think we 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 have done uh, our part in ensuring that uh, we 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 settle the brand in in this market. Uh, now one of the leading banks in Zambia, uh, uh, and it's been such a phenomenal journey. Uh, the Atlas Mara journey for Zambia. So uh, very proud uh, of uh, where we brought the business and, and looking forward to, to where we're going. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, yeah. Good to hear that. Uh, again, for, uh, because we have got people from different parts of the world uh, in this call for their benefit, uh, for people who might not be too familiar with uh, you know, that region of the world, uh, you know, where you come from, uh, specifically on Zambia, just a little bit of geography lesson for them. So, uh, Zambia is, uh, part, you know, is uh, in the southern, uh, uh, you know, in the in the southern part of Africa, uh, 
it is a landlocked country uh, you know mm -hmm. surrounded by uh, tanzania drc uh, malawi and uh, and uh, zimbabwe as well right mm -hmm. and uh, yeah yeah while it's a landlocked landlocked country but uh, you know, it's it's one of the most beautiful places that I, I've ever visited, right? So, uh, during my stay in uh, in Africa, I remember uh, when I used to visit uh, uh, Zambia. It's I think it's it was a it was it's full of natural beauty. I must say, and specifically, uh, you know, most you know most of the people I you know my, must have heard about uh, uh, you know about uh, Victoria Falls, right? So, uh, which is a uh, site on its own it's it's i think double the size of uh, niagara falls uh and and it's 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 a phenomenal uh, you know it's a phenomenal site i must say so so zambia uh, besides uh, its natural beauty it's quite uh, uh, rich in its financial services space as well okay so uh, here, uh, I would like to take your view on something, and specifically for people uh, who who might not be too familiar with uh, Africa and also specifically Zambia. Uh, look, for people looking at Africa from outside, you know, they might not realize that though it's a, it's a continent, and from outside it might look as you know uh, uh, pretty homogeneous, but actually it is very very diverse. Uh, and very heterogeneous continent, right? So you know, mm. with, with different languages, you know, you've got Anglophone, you've got Francophone, you've got Portuguese-speaking countries. Uh, you have, uh, uh, you know, you have got different, uh, uh, you know, flora and fauna, uh, you know, uh, and also from economic uh, perspective as well, right? So different GDPs. You have got GDP, uh, mm. you know, the. You know, of Nigeria around 400 billion, while and then you have got GDP of uh, Mali, uh, which is around 17 million, and you know also from the uh, you know from population density as well, right? So you have got uh, mm -hmm. you know something like Mauritius, uh, you know, uh, which would be if I if I remember correctly, you know around uh, you know six you know 620 uh, you know per square kilometer, while you have got uh, you know of the likes of uh, uh, you know Namibia, which is three square kilometer, so it's pretty pretty diverse, right? And that also means that the financial services also need to evolve, uh, or has you know had evolved over time to address that diverse population, mm. and and I think that is where I believe uh, digital had played a strong role, and that's where I think Africa had been in the forefront of digital innovation around financial services, right? Uh, yep. So. You know, it would be really good to get some perspective from you uh, to to understand uh, how the the financial services uh, has evolved specifically around digital uh, you know in Africa specifically in the last few years when the new new emergence of or reemergence of digital has come in with, with mm. new technology so how has that ha has evolved in Africa and also uh, then specifically in Zambia Great, thanks. Um, um, I, I think when, when you look at the continent um, and, and, and digital financial services, um, I think this is probably one of the, the greatest success stories we, we can tell, right? Uh, you're very right uh, when you talk about uh, the depth of diversity that we have across the continent, uh, but the one single thread that has, uh, has been consistent has been the drive to uh, to, to, to get digital financial services uh, uh, embedded. Um, and we have seen the continent uh, uh, deploy the most uh, set of uh, uh, digital financial services right across uh, uh, the world, right? Uh, Africa is leading. And, and it's a testimony when you look at the 350 million uh, users that we have of digital financial, financial services. Um, the, this whole phenomena really started in Kenya, I think, as, as most people may be aware, right? But the reality is a lot of countries now have also picked up a lot of pace, right? Uh, and, and whilst they might be at uh, different levels in terms of uh, 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 the, the, the concentration or depth of access itself to financial services, 
each and every country is on a very positive trajectory around access to digital financial services. Uh, and, and what is good to, to note is that this all started from a very basic transaction, right? The P2P transaction, right? Everything was built around the P2P, started to evolve with the cash-ins that supported that, uh, airtime purchases. And over time, uh, we have seen the, 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 the quality of these products start to improve, right? As they evolve into some of the more traditional core banking products uh, that speak to, to savings, to lending, right? These have also now started to manifest uh, 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 in the provision of uh, financial services using digital platforms right across uh, right across the continent. Um, and uh, and because of the the multiple benefits that come with access to financial services, um, uh, particularly when you speak to to poverty alleviation and uh, economic prosperity, right? A number of countries have actually uh, taken some firm uh, uh, policy. Uh, 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 frameworks, right? Uh, have to put some framework in place just to help drive this uh, this uptake, and and this has been quite consistent across uh, across the continent, uh, and has really helped to drive uh, 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 access to to a number of uh, our users across the continent. Now, the the Zambia scenario is 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 pretty much similar, right? Um, we have uh, a, a, a national financial inclusion strategy. Uh, 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 that the government has has put in place, uh, supported also by National Strategy for Financial Education, uh, and these have defined the framework that allows the regulators to really uh, drive access to uh, to financial services. And the big theme behind this drive has been how to leverage technology. Right? How do we leverage technology to to really drive access? Uh, uh, how do we leverage technology to improve the quality as well as the affordability? Uh, of these services um, and as a result I think over the past five years we have seen uh, a number of banks uh, in Zambia uh, and by the way Zambia has a total of 18 commercial banks uh, currently uh, and, and we have seen all the banks now actively uh, 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 investing right in digital capabilities the mobile banking platforms uh, uh, and, and, and that innovation has helped improve the delivery of, uh, of, of financial products. Uh, but more so, uh, over and above that, I think we have seen a proliferation of, uh, of fintechs as well, right? Mm -hmm. A number of fintech organizations have also come up uh, 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 and providing uh, a different uh, 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 view on how they can provide uh, financial services. Uh, uh, and uh, right. again, the environment that has been presented by the regulator, very open, very flexible, uh, accommodating uh, all these players to come in. Uh, but I think the one worth pointing out here is, 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 is the incredible way in which mobile money has really, really taken root in, in Zambia, right? Uh, when you look right. at the level of financial inclusion that, uh, that we have today, uh, I think from, from the latest FinScope survey uh, done last year, we are just shy of 70% uh, uh, on, on the financial inclusion uh, index. Cool. And the bulk of that has been driven by the uptake of mobile money uh, over the past five years, right? Uh, so five years ago, mobile money uptake amongst adults was probably sitting around 14%. Uh, and currently we are sitting at 60%, right? You said, said 60? 60, six yes. Oh, wow. Um, which is which is quite phenomenal. This this has really been the drive behind uh, 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 the, the the levels of financial uh, services uh, access in, improving, and and it tells a story, right? Because during the same period, you would notice that uh, the actual number of adults using banking services actually reduced, right? So on one hand, the exponential growth of people using mobile money. On the other hand, a decline uh, in, in, in adults actually using the, uh, the banks, right? Uh, and it speaks to the levels of adoption that have come with, uh, uh, with, with mobile money, right? So I think uh, it, 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 it is worth noting also that even with this level of uh, financial access, right, transactional banking services have taken prominence. Right? So it's still your P2Ps, it's still your cash-ins mm -hmm. and the agent outlets and your airtime, right? So this piece really also demonstrates that there is a real need out there, 
right, for these very basic services, which continues to to be an area where uh, we still have a bit of work to do. Uh, we still have a 30%. And when you break down the urban-rural split, I think it's, it's more telling, uh, I think, the amount of work that needs to happen in the rural areas. Uh, but uh, the fact that the transactional banking services remain prominent right. does not take away the fact that even here in Zambia, we are starting to see uh, the, the core banking products, your, your lending services, your, 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 your savings products, all starting to show up as well on, on the digital uh, platforms. So uh, I think the environment remains very conducive. A lot of great progress made uh, in terms of uh, 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 new ways of delivering uh, financial services. Uh, but again, a lot of work still to be done uh, to ensure that uh, it is quite uniformly achieved right across uh, uh, the country. Right, right. No, that's you know these numbers are just phenomenal, right? So especially though you know the the number uh, which is here showing around financial inclusion is fifty nine percent, which is uh, mm. which is a bit uh, probably a bit a uh, bit old. But this uh, you know when you say it's close to seventy percent, which yeah. is uh, which is I I must say this is as close as the global average, right? So the global average is I think if I remember correctly, it's around it's anything between sixty five to sixty eight percent. So if you're mm. around that. You know, it's and in in Africa general, it's around forty five percent, forty to forty five percent of financial inclusion, and uh, you are at seventy percent of financial inclusion. So, you know, there are you guys have done some really really phenomenal work. You know, uh, you know, congratulations to you and your other fellow bankers in Zambia. Uh, mm. uh, it's it's a phenomenal work, and and this uh, I think this is a good segue uh, to my next question that I that I have in mind, is that yeah. so, so Atlas Mara is one of the most prominent banks in uh, in uh, you know in Zambia. So you are the the biggest uh, biggest bank from your branch number of branch uh, uh, perspective, right? Would I be correct in saying that? Uh, we we are now the second largest by mm -hmm. by branch network. Uh, I think we we have done some rationalization um, yeah. uh, when we did merge Bank ABC and Finance Bank uh, in 2016. Uh, mm. We had in excess of 70 70 branches. Right. Uh, right. Today we are speaking about 50 branches or so. Right. Right. So uh, so you know for for a country like Zambia and you have been doing so phenomenally well in in that market context uh as atlas mara as a bank then what was uh, you know what was the real need to come up with this new 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 bank called new digital bank called tenga and and today i really wanted to spend a time spend some time in understanding uh, uh the the story of tenga i think this is where i personally feel is where the real uh you know re real excitement is and uh and 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 why it intrigues me quite honestly and as as more and more i went deeper into the uh, you know detail around tenga uh, is that uh, something i realized that you know digital banking is is talk of the town in financial services world today right so every bank is talking about digital you know uh, around digital financial services digital bank uh, and there are a lot of new digital banks that are coming in uh, there are always a question okay yes digital you know we have you know digital banks a lot of fan, you know nice fancy propositions that are coming up uh but then uh, uh you know some have viable models some are not uh but mm. uh while there is with all these talks that are going on there is one one digital bank uh in a country in zambia which is quietly going around doing its work and creating some real impact in in people's lives Right, mm -hmm. and uh, and I haven't seen that coming out in in a big win public forum uh, too much time you know, uh, uh, in many occasions. And I wanted to sp you know take this opportunity to really, really you know talk about Tenga, the fantastic work you guys have mm -hmm. done, and uh, and uh, and how you are going about really impacting the life, the, you know, in, re in impacting lives of people in a real way, right? Uh, not just coming up with some fancy, uh, you know, plastic car or you know some other fancy proposition, you know, which uh, which might be a very superficial nature. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, why? What was the the 
you know, why Tenga, even if uh, Atlas Mara was uh, doing so well? Uh, and what was the need of Tenga, you know, uh, that you felt in that market? Okay, so so I think our initial our initial business context, right, when uh, uh, Atlas Mara became what it is from the, the merge of the two banks, uh, like I mentioned, we, we were sitting in excess of uh, uh, 70 branches, right, uh, spread right across the country. Uh, and, and, you know, Zambia is, is a fairly large country by geography, right? It's yeah. 750,000 kilometers squared, right? Um, and we had all these branches uh, right across uh, 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 the country, and we are saying to ourselves, look, this is what it probably means for us to serve all Zambians, right? Provide financial services to everybody. We have branches in every corner of the country. Uh, and guess what? We were only servicing just slightly over 100,000 customers, right? Uh, and we said to ourselves, look, this, this is not meeting our our goals right we we have so many zambians the population now is in excess of 17 million and we cannot only be touching uh, 100,000 customers right um so we were very clear in our minds that our current business model was set up in such a way that we were not reaching a very a, a defined set of customers right uh, and really, Tenga was born out of the need for us to bridge that gap. Right. right? Uh, and, and what we did with Tenga um, is that uh, we, we, we definitely did spend time doing a bit of research, right, around what does it mean to cater for, for everyone uh, and, and, and had our focus groups and everything. Uh, and we launched Tenga in, in, in 20. Uh, in 2019, um, and two years later, we assist. We are sitting on almost a million customers on on, on our Tenga wow. mobile money. Wow! Right. Uh, so, uh, really, for us, it was about making sure that we have an opportunity to provide banking services or financial services to a larger sector of the population. Right. Uh, and we were very clear in our minds that the way we were set up using the physical uh, distribution uh, structures was not going to get us there. We had to redefine uh, the approach, uh, focus on, 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 on digital uh, and look at how best we then align the needs of, of that customer tier that was previously then uh, 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 and bank to unable to access the, the products in the manner in which we had defined them in the physical structures. Right, right. Mm. Fantastic, fantastic. No, I, I think, uh, you know, I completely agree with you. And in fact, us, even you know, from Mortfin perspective as well, you know, our philosophy had been that, uh, you know, a digital, see, you know, traditionally, when people have been talking about digital, right? So digital people talk about digital, uh, primarily talking, you know, smartphones and then targeting a specific segment of population, right? But for us, you know, we sincerely believe this at our heart that digital financial services is like internet, right? That it should be uh, pervasive. It should be omnipresent it should be something that needs to impact people at all levels at at all aspect of the society you know at you know uh, uh, you know uh, people at mass scale right that's mm -hmm. only then digital and digital financial services can derive its true value right it cannot mm -hmm. be targeted and meant for only a specific set of people right and uh, I think, and whatever we have done over the years, and you know, it, it has been a fortunate, uh, you know, it has been fortunate enough uh, for us to uh, to engage with partners like you and and other uh, other uh, banks uh, over, you know, in in Africa and uh, and in other parts of the world, who has given us that opportunity to explore a lot of these innovations and be 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 part of. Of your innovation journey, right? And we really appreciate that uh, that a lot. And we have uh, 
built over the years the appropriate capability so that now we can uh, we can take some of these capabilities uh, you know uh, around the world which now as these are now becoming uh, you know innovations that are being talked about quite a lot uh, mm-hmm. so uh, you know uh, you know coming to uh, the the services for the masses right uh, mm-hmm. you know one thing i wanted to highlight uh, specifically to uh, you know to the audience here that as you mentioned you know 1 million customers uh, that you've garnered you know purely on your digital bank platform uh, tenga uh, i if i understand correctly in first 9 month itself you got around uh, almost 4 uh, 400000 customers on your uh, on your digital bank is it correct yes yes i think it was um, it was a very very strong uh, push we we gave when we launched uh, uh, tenga uh and especially that uh when we were doing the the the, the pre work around it uh a lot of uh, the focus groups we had uh, uh focus groups that we had had uh, had given us a very clear path uh to to getting uh, uh, adoption and utilization right we right. worked with a lot of women groups uh who are spread right across the country and that was a, a very important lever for us right so once we launched and launched through the same uh, uh, groupings uh, it was quite easy to get uh, a lot of um, uh, adoption uh, mm. of, 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 of of the product itself uh, and uh, uh, we we had to also be quite uh, 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 deliberate about how we 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 ensure engagement with uh, 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 with the product right. uh, tenga is probably the only uh, uh, a solution that you see in a market like ours which is also for example present uh, uh, in uh, in seven local language languages wow. right in addition to english right so that was all in a bit to ensure that the engagement that happens between the the end user and the product uh, is strengthened uh, and uh, even in terms of how we drive uh, 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 awareness very very locally driven Uh, awareness programs that are working with the communities uh, 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 and using uh, uh, the community as a base to grow the understanding of the value that the product mm-hmm. brings with regard to the needs that they have yeah. right right fantastic here i just wanted to you know uh, to show something very interesting you know i will show let me When your phone when your phone is yes. your bank digital yes. success digital success you need to send money, and, to send you money and you're at work it's no problem it's no problem over 10000 cash points, in, over 10, in, Zambia. Cash points in, in Zambia you need to make an international transfer for your business do it, business. On, the do it on the spot the anywhere your in the world your bank to keep the money safe and sound it's done 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 Whatever you, whatever you need, whatever you need, when it comes, to digital, it comes to digital and mobile banking, there's just one name to remember, Atlas Mara, Atlas available Mara. on the Atlas Mara Atlas banking Atlas app, and also available and on Tenga, Atlas Mara, on Tenga. Zambia's, Atlas leading Mara. Digital bank. Zambia's leading digital bank. Fantastic, you know, it's, it's, it's really, really, uh, you know, phenomenal. So, uh, you know, it's... And, and all of those services, you know, was uh, all available on... Uh, you know on the mobile itself right uh, you know mm. if i understand correctly it's 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 purely 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 digital right yes so 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 when you look at the uh, uh, the capabilities that we we have built into into tenga um i think first firstly to begin with that uh, tenga is um, uh, is accessible by self registration right mm. uh, you probably need uh, uh two minutes or less to register on tenga right the main data points we 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 look for uh is, is your mobile number your national id uh, uh a couple of security questions here and there but you're basically able to get registered on tenga uh mm-hmm. through a self registration process that takes under 2 minutes mm-hmm. um and uh we have the service available both on ussd as well as mobile app uh looking at the uh, 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 the usage of of ussd is quite high in in zambia uh and uh, when you look at the core services available right uh, we we do have uh, 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 an investment tool 
uh, uh, which which has really two streams, right? So on the saving side, uh, a customer is able to save on Tenga uh, for a maximum uh, of uh, of a year. But of course, we have different tenors in there. You can save for uh, uh, at a minimum of two days, right? And you can choose your options. You can save for a week. You can save for three weeks, a month, and so on, making it quite flexible for anyone who'd want to save uh, uh, small amounts of money uh, and so on. Uh, you can actually keep a maximum of about 50,000 quatchers, which is around $2,500, right? So that's the maximum right. that you can hold on your, on your, on your Tenga wallet. Uh, so on the one hand, you can save as an individual, but also our Tenga has, uh, has uh, embedded uh, a savings uh, group module. Uh, you know, savings in, in groups is quite, uh, quite uh, a, a rich activity in, in, in Africa, right? Uh, mm -hmm. and, and it's done in different uh, ways across the different countries uh, where a lot of people would come together in smaller groups and start saving money. Now, we have enabled a module on Tenga that allows us to, to digitize that process, right? So a group of people who are all registered on Tenga can appoint an administrator uh, who would then set up the group uh, and mm -hmm. invite the various members uh, uh, into the group that is set up on Tenga uh, and you're able to actually uh, uh, go ahead and do your, your group activities within the Tenga environment, right? So okay. each group member can have a look at the profile of the group and how many contributions they are making to the whole and so on, whether it's their lending and borrowing activities within the group, everything you can do with Tenga uh, through this uh, group savings module, right? Wow. Uh, then uh, other than that... Uh, so, sorry to interrupt you. So, uh, you know, so if I'm correct, what you're saying is that is basically moving into community banking itself, right? You are d directly getting into a community and, and helping them to create their own safety net for themselves. Uh, and, Absolutely. And Absolutely. And, and you must be aware there are quite a number of, uh, uh, of challenges associated with uh, the, the current manual setup uh, where there's a lot of uh, susceptibility to, to loss of funds because they're probably mm -hmm. kept in a box somewhere. Uh, uh, there's also a lot of um, uh, mistrust because you don't have the right visibility, right? And we have addressed all of those things uh, within the, the Tenga environment, right? Because uh, uh, the group themselves appoint the administrators, but they do have visibility of everything that's going on at any one time. Uh, yeah. And of course, you know your money is sitting with the bank. It's very safe. Uh, and on top of that, you actually earn a bit of interest uh, as the money sits in the bank, as opposed to sitting in a box somewhere. Right. right? Uh, and, and it certainly then does open up the door for you to access even more funding uh, on the basis of the activities of the group. Right. So quite important benefits when you look at the core rationale behind the, the, the groups themselves coming together. Uh, we provide a safer and more convenient way to actually get that done uh, and uh, right. definitely allow you to sleep better at night. Yeah, no. This is this is really, and and uh, I think this concept that that you mentioned that you know uh, putting money in a box and then uh, uh, you know uh, people putting uh, putting money there and then uh, you know in certain places I've seen uh, then that box you know there is a roulette every every week and then that box is then held mm -hmm. by a particular individual but then it comes with exactly. certain blocks mistrust and things like that and uh, what and that that happens in a lot of countries uh, on the you know in in other parts. Uh, you know, beyond Zambia, in other parts of Africa, of course, but also in Asia as well. Uh, in, uh, but uh, yes, a lot of these things have been happening in a in a very informal way. But the beauty mm -hmm. of what you have done is you have now taken that and created a formal formal structure around it and created a trust element uh, around it, and then so that people can still do that, collaborate. But yep. you are you are bringing your your banking processes. And bank and credibility and capability around it to 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 manage that. Right, right. And and you can imagine what it does, especially at a time like now where COVID has really changed the way we live our lives. Mm. It's almost practically impossible for these groups to meet, right, in, in the COVID setup. But with the solution on Tenga, virtual meetings can now happen, and everybody is comfortable uh, having accountability uh, around what the group is doing together. Right, yeah. right. No, this is amazing, amazing. Yeah. Sure. Sorry, let sure. me not interrupt you. Let us just continue with the other services, other innovations that you guys that you have put in there. Yeah. 
Sure. Uh, let, let me also speak to 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 the loans, right? I, I know they're captured here, the emergency loans. So uh, we also have a module that allows any Tenga customer, right, to actually borrow uh, from the bank, right? We have a module in there that uh, allows us to uh, to to create a profile of your activity, right, uh, or your activity that you you do on the uh, on, on the Tenga app or uh, on the Tenga product is captured mm -hmm. and we build that into an algorithm that then suggests the level to which we can then lend to you, right? Right. So currently we are lending a maximum of uh, uh, 2,000 purchases is about $100, mm -hmm. right? And we lend this to you uh, for a maximum of 30 days. Uh, and I think for us, the biggest uh, uh, catch is that, look, we, we lend this to you at no interest at all, right? Right. So we're giving interest-free loans to uh, Tenga customers uh, purely on the basis of what you do with us in terms of activity, right? So making Correct. it so easy for you to access credit, uh, very short-term credit, uh, and I think mm. this has been quite a game changer for us. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, other than that, we, we also uh, uh, have a very convenient capability for our Tenga customers to access their cash. Uh, they, can, uh, they can easily visit any of our Atlas Mara ATMs and, and draw cash uh, without uh, the need for a card. Uh, it's a pin-based withdrawal. You generate your own pin uh, and, 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 and draw your cash from the ATM. Uh, and uh, we have a very similar process also uh, where you can access your cash through uh, the agent network that we have. Right, right, right. Um, Fascinating. Yeah. Aside from that, I think it's uh, I think the the, the, the core of uh, of mobile bank, uh, mobile money, like I mentioned, which is the P two P. And I think we've done quite a bit of work to ensure that uh, we make that uh, uh, opportunity to transfer funds as relevant as possible. Right, so we have uh, a, a, a couple of transfer modules that uh, that we have built. Mm. Uh, the first is one that allows um, uh, a, a Tenga customer to send money to to any local mobile number. Right. right. Uh, so remember again to begin with, for you to register for Tenga, you're not restricted to any particular mobile network operator. Right. So right. as long as you have a mobile a local mobile number, you're able to register. And uh, consequently, we have allowed the capability for any any Tenga customer to then be able to send money to any local mobile number. Uh, and sure. Then uh, we also have an option where you can also move funds to a prepaid card. Uh, we do have uh, Atlas Mara issued prepaid cards where you can easily move funds between uh, uh, your, your Tenga account as well as your prepaid cards. Uh, and then we have made it even... Uh, more relevant by allowing a Tenga customer to basically transfer uh, funds to any bank account uh, within Zambia, right? Uh, which is basically the same benefit that any account holder has today. You can send uh, money from any bank account to any other bank account. We have mm -hmm. given this same ability to, uh, to Tenga customers uh, where they can do these transfers and reroute the, the transactions through the clearinghouse uh, through DDAC or RTGS. Right. right. So again, very uh, uh, various ways you can actually make, move, move, move your money depending on your circumstances. Yeah. Right. Uh, and then uh, finally, perhaps also to mention that we also then have your your whole host of bill payments and, and merchant payments, so you can buy your airtime, pay for your utilities, your your your, your water, your electricity, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, this is an area that continues to grow, right? You, you, there, there's countless uh, uh, opportunities where uh, a Tenga can come and uh, uh, digitize uh, transactions that require cash today. Uh, right. So we continue to grow that bouquet uh, consistently. Right, right. Fantastic. Fantastic. No, this is, this is really, really fascinating stuff uh, that you have done. And uh, and how, how do you see this impacting uh, impacting the market or impacting the, the the banking and financial services landscape in Zambia and in 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 Southern Africa in general. Mm -hmm. You know how how has Tenga, Tenga impacted uh, uh, and the products and services that you have launched and how has that impacted 
the landscape. Right. So, so, so when you talk financial um, financial inclusion, uh, I think Tenga mobile money is is an equalizer, right? Because um, a lot of these uh, services in the past have been the preserve of formal bank customers, right? And what we have done is that we have taken away the barriers associated with privilege, right? When it comes to accessing financial services, we have taken away the barriers associated with, uh, uh, with social standing. We have taken away the barriers uh, uh, that, that are associated with economic standing. Uh, and now anybody, as long as they have a local mobile number and, and a national ID number, have access to world-class financial services, right? Right. We, we, we have taken away all those reservations associated with somebody having to walk into a, a bank branch uh, uh, and, 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 and just allow these services to be available uh, at somebody's uh, fingertips, right? Right. So it's really been a, 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 a great uh, equalizer in terms of allowing everybody access quality financial services, really, really redefining uh, access to financial services. No, absolutely, and and I think these these numbers are just phenomenal, right? Though uh, you know this is uh, you know Tenga plus I think there is some mobile uh, banking element uh, of Atlas Mora is, is here as well, but major chunk sure. I would guess is coming out of Tenga, and and it's 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 really and this is just one single layer, right? So you know number of transactions, uh, you know ten million, uh, you know in in a country like Zambia, you know age uh, number of customers. Uh, it's it's actually it's it's uh, it's it's a bit outdated, I would say, uh, based on the numbers that you gave, which is now the Tenga alone uh, you mentioned is is a million plus customers, right? Uh, so it's Correct. it's it's just amazing, and uh, and also you know, what is very interesting is this number of agents which is uh, that you have. I'm guessing yeah. that you might have now more than two thirty three agents. Uh, uh, currently, yeah, if I you know, just correct me if if I your number of uh, branches that you have right now is uh, how much do you say earlier? So currently we have fifty five zero. Five okay. All right. Fifty branches. Uh, but but also maybe maybe it's it's important for me to to highlight that uh, when 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 we launched Tenga right, mm. we 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 were launching a digital bank so very positioned from the wallet perspective only. Right, mm. uh, and we did this consciously, knowing that we would need a network of agents to support our digital bank, right? Mm. Uh, and uh, look, we, we scanned the market, and very clearly, we have quite a number of players in the market today that provide agent banking services, right? So we really did build our model around collaboration. Mm. So yes, you see a number of 233 there. That is reflective only of the agents we have put up. But beyond that, we have in excess of 20,000 agents available for our customers because we have partnerships, wow. third party players who are running agent networks, right? So right. I think for us, a very big theme of us positioning our digital bank is the collaboration uh, that we've been able to, to get going with partners that are offering different capabilities out there that we can then leverage uh, to drive our own uh, uh, Tenga uh, business. Correct, correct. No, I think, and this is a this is a this is a big lesson I think for banks who are trying to go digital and mm. launch their own digital, uh, you know, either a, a separate digital uh, banking proposition in the market or even uh, in enhancing their existing proposition uh, to, you know, uh, to have a better, uh, you know, customer engagement, customer in interaction. I think this is often mm. missed, missed out is that when people talk about digital, they only think about mobile, right? And mobile mm. is important, you know, there is nothing taking away from that particular fact, right? Uh, mm. But it has to be a combination of agent, uh, sorry, uh, you know, combination of, uh, of mobile together with the ability to tap into alternate forms of, uh, of uh, channels and alternate touch points to the customer. 
you cannot have branches. Branches is not a viable model, as I think you have also mentioned that. That's why you had to rationalize your branches. But uh, just purely uh, focusing on mobile, digital is not just, you know, again, this is my, my personal view. Digital is not just mobile. Digital is mobile. And then how do you complement that with together with other uh, alternate touch points? And the and when a digital bank or a digital entity balances these two effectively and optimally, that's where the true growth comes in for the bank, for the digital bank. And also mm. that is where the true value for the end customer can also be created. And mm. I think what, you know, again, compliments to uh, to you and uh, and the Tenga team that you you have created that and you have, you have showcased that in real terms the value that uh, that that model that comp uh, that combined model of digital which is uh, mobile and alternate you know uh, right. you know uh, how how critical it is and how effective it is yeah no, uh, absolutely i think it's, 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 it goes without saying i mean it's it's, it's an ecosystem uh, that that you have to allow to uh, to play uh, to to its strengths uh, and capabilities, depending on the customer circumstances, right? We we always have to remember that the success of digital, uh, uh, to a large extent, uh, 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 is driven by relevance to the customer. Right? So yeah. we really have to build our ecosystem around the customer, and appreciate at what point the customer sees value. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, no, uh, no it, it's, it's absolutely uh, you, you know correct. Now uh, coming to the present situation and looking at the future, right? If I just mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think the COVID has changed a lot of things, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Where you are sitting today, how do you see the customer behavior has changed because of COVID? And how and what is Tenga doing, you know, uh, to to gear up to that changed consumer, uh, you know, and 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 market behavior. Mm -hmm. Well, um, um, COVID has has really uh, 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 taught us very quickly uh, that we can't do business the way we used to, right? Uh, even in the past where we had the luxury to take our time, now it's more evident that we don't have that luxury anymore. Um, and uh, I think with the first wave of COVID, uh, we did see uh, um, a marked increase in, in digital activity uh, with a corresponding decrease mm -hmm. on, uh, uh, on branch traffic, uh, as an example here in Zambia. Uh, but even at the reduced level of, of, of branch traffic, the, the volume is still quite high, right? Uh, mm -hmm. We still see a lot of traffic going to the branches. Uh, and uh, I think for me, it's, it speaks to, to two things, right? One, it speaks to the maturity of our digital channels, because perhaps then customers have a sense that they don't have an alternative, right? Uh, or secondly, uh, it could be a question of uh, custom education, right? What is it that could influence adoption? Uh, so we're still seeing quite a lot of cash transactions in Zambia, uh, a lot of uh, 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 collections from the government side uh, and other business entities, a lot of disbursements, a lot of the commercial transactions still being done uh, using cash. Mm -hmm. And the question we ask ourselves is, look, are the digital solutions available today really built to accommodate this traffic? Right, uh, and I think when when you look at what we have done with Tenga, we are really positioning Tenga now as uh, your ultimate collections and disbursement solution, your one-stop merchant solution. Right, so we are really really positioning Tenga as your real driver of non-cash transactions because it it has versatility to cut across so many use cases. Right, mm -hmm. uh, and I think this is the probably the biggest agenda that we are driving, even as we look at the COVID uh, scenarios, because 
we are still seeing cash being exchanged and we're saying how do we replace that cash exchange with tenga mm -hmm. right yeah. right fascinating yeah this is, this is really really uh, you know great insight mm. uh, no i uh, you know uh, it you know from from our perspective also right so we have uh, you know specifically you know we have been as, as a company we have been in the digital banking space for the last 10 years right but specifically in um, and we have been part of a lot of digital transformations and uh, with the uh, omnipresence, omnichannel banking capability, but specifically, uh, you know, post COVID, we see, uh, you know, few innovations that we had created, uh, you know, together with uh, partners like you are, are mm -hmm. really, really picking up, right? So, you know, like, you know, keyboard banking to, to DGQ, to group savings, group lending, you know, something, you know, that we talked about right uh, you know agent banking is 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 really being talked about right now quite actively uh, because uh, you know it is uh, you know still there are you know bank, you know there is some level of besides mobile how can we use those alternate channels right digital onboarding mm -hmm. is coming up you know cardless you know one very interesting use cases that is becoming quite popular around cardless atms is around you know somebody in in the remote location has an account with bank a but wants to send money to to uh, somebody at a remote location maybe her, you know his or her mother uh, who might have a bank account or uh, or might not have a bank account at all right uh, uh, but not in that particular banks but then i can just transfer the money to that person's mobile and then person can then go to bank a atm where i hold my uh, uh, you know uh, my account and then withdraw the money without any card right and and that you know ease of local remittance and movement of money you know that is becoming very very uh, you know talked about uh, proposition uh, right now and uh, uh, and 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 you know of course this we have been able to do with with partners you know so many partners like uh, like you who has who has uh, trusted us and enabled us to to build some of these capabilities uh, together with you. Um, we are almost at the end. Uh, uh, you know, before we start taking questions, uh, which are there on the chat, and uh, you know, uh, please feel uh, feel free to put in your questions uh, on the chat, and we will take up uh, one by one. I just want to end uh, end the the session with uh, before we move into the chat. One thing which is very interesting that I found, I wanted to share, because it really this video really shows the impact, the the true impact that Tenga is having on its in it in their in a person's day to day life. And after the video, I would love for you. I would really uh, request you to explain the story behind it so that people really you know realize because. Uh, uh you know the 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 language is is is, is local language so not you know uh, so not many people might understand yeah so i will just uh, first play this Wauza wasuke nifika nireta ndrama swapa nilimtrack nifika Ajipi boti nitani kutukumata Amai na unamavuti Nalu kufuna utumiza ndalama, no transport. Ah, ah, jen ni kulangi zen. Introducing Tenga Mobile Money. Send and receive money on any mobile network and pay for your bills. You can also save cash in a safe way and earn up to 12% interest. And Tenga, Tenga. Available to get and deposit cash at all 67 Atlas Mara branches and at Zorana outlets nationwide. Hi, did that play okay? I, I just wanted to make sure uh, because I no, pressed I the didn't wrong see it. Huh? I didn't see Sorry? it. Sorry? No, oh, I didn't, didn't see, see the video. 
Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. I just uh, I was actually asking if it was playing. Huh? Okay, sorry. My apologies. I think I pressed the wrong uh, wrong button. Let me start again. Yeah, my. Wafika pati, wafika pati, sweta ndalama shu. Iwe, iwe. I can't see it. Wauze wasuke nifika, nila itandrama swapa nilimtrack, nifika. Amai na unamavuti. Nari ufuna utumiza ndalama, no transport. Ah ah, kieni kulangi zeni. Introducing Tenga Mobile Money. Send and receive money on any mobile network and pay for your bills. You can also save cash in a safe way and earn up to 12% interest. And Tenga, Tenga. Available to get and deposit cash at all 67 Atlas Mara branches and at Zorona outlets nationwide. Did you did you get to see it, uh, Teza? No, no, no. So the video didn't didn't run. Okay. Uh, uh, I could uh, get I a think... bit of sound and it cut. Okay. No, I think uh, the maybe because of some reason you didn't see it, but the team, my team, is saying they could see it. So oh, problem, perfect. No problem. But if you can just explain uh, the 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 story behind it, so that you know people uh, can appreciate what is uh, that about this whole fish. That the thing that you were explaining to me earlier. Okay, great. So, so this is a, a clip that we did. Uh, one of the first ones we did to showcase some of the Tenga capabilities, uh, and we are trying to depict in that video how easy it is to to just uh, do a P two P, right? Transfer money from one point to the other. But in the video, we are actually showing uh, somebody trying to 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 buy some fish, right? And uh, you know the way if, uh, uh, you buy a fish, you have to go in quite early and catch the fish while it's fresh, right? So we have somebody panicking because they don't have cash on. The, they haven't yet gotten the cash that they need to buy the fish, uh, and so on. So they ask a colleague to 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 send them some money, and because it is a time-bound activity, they need that money so quickly. Uh, so somebody sends the money to this guy and he's able to quickly go and uh, cash out at an agent and he's able to buy his fish. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Fantastic. And, and I think this is what, uh, you know, the, the real impact is, right? Uh, you know, mm. really, uh, you know, helping them on a day to day basis solve their, their continuous day to day problem. Right. And my mm -hmm. my compliments to whosoever made that uh, that uh, that video. Uh, within your organization, you know, uh, 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 you know kudos to them. Uh, sure. So, uh, with that, we will uh, we'll move into the Q and A session, and there are quite a few questions. I'll go uh, one by one. So, Augustine has, is asking, uh, kindly share how many branches does Atlas, Atlas Mara currently have in Zambia? I think we have shared that it is currently it is uh, it is fifty. And we have, and they have an agent network of uh, 233, and another uh, which is on their own, and another 20,000 plus through partners. Yeah. Uh, Malcolm Chabala is asking, what is currently missing on the Zambian landscape to have a fully digitized banking sector? So. Okay. That's, that's, that's a great question, and uh, uh, it has a couple of facets to it from, from my perspective, right? Um, I think the first is for us to realize uh, as banks that, look, we, we are not trying to, to digitize out of our own wit or will. It's because of the customer, right? The customer is going to demand that we become digital because that is what will make sense for the customer. And, and building on that must make us then comfortable collaborating, right? I think collaboration is a very, very big piece. We must start seeing all of us as being um, uh, 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 at the service of a single customer because our customer then has multiple needs and we could be serving the same customer, right? So we need to, to learn to collaborate better. 
uh, interoperability is, is key, right? Uh, so uh, thankfully in Zambia, the, the work that is being done with the national financial switch should, should, should de definitely help. So the work that the regulator is doing in that space for me is, is going to be an accelerator, right? Uh, of getting us all to be digitized. Uh, and then the, 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 the other big lever, which is quite critical, is to also ensure that the right commercial uh, 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 agreements or arrangements are in place, right? And from where I'm sitting, this is probably another area where the regulator will have to come and step in because collaboration and us serving the customer through digital means must be commercially viable, right? So we must have a way of ensuring that all the investments uh, actually uh, are worthwhile uh, and uh, the commercials are, are making sense. Uh, I think that is what should get us to a point where we are all comfortable uh, uh, actually making this come alive. So a couple of milestones that we have to, to get through uh, in terms of actually allowing us to, uh, to integrate and allow interoperability. Uh, but more than that is accepting that we have to work together for the common good of the customer. Uh, and then from there, we should have a clear expectation that it will be commercially viable for all parties. All right. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the next question is a bit more specific, uh, mm -hmm. which is uh, Karina is saying, uh, hello, I would like to know how you remunerate agents and if clients are paying when depositing in their accounts or transfers. Okay, so so agents um, uh, are on commission based, right? Uh, and uh, we have tiered uh, the commission to different transaction bands, uh, and uh, on that basis, we we have agreed some 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 commission structure uh, that speaks to to the level of activity across each band. Uh, on the deposit side, uh, we do not charge our customers for for deposits. Uh, this is more to do with the regulation. Uh, uh, more than anything. So the central bank would not allow us to charge our customers for deposits. So even through the agent network, we are not able to uh, to charge the customer. Uh, but guess what? We still have to pay commission to the agent even for that transaction. Right, right, yeah. Now, uh, agent would need need to get paid, right? Because they've provided the service, yeah, I agree. Yeah, so I think it's, it's a bad, it's, I think for agent network to manage the agent network, how you balance that uh, that uh, that compensation model is is very very important. I agree with you. Okay. Next, uh, moving on. Next is Stephen. Stephen is asking, what is the penetration of Tenga in the far flung areas compared to the bigger towns? Okay. So. So, so, so I'm, I don't have the, the number of the cuff, but what I will share is that, look, we, we have very different penetration levels uh, across the country. We have some areas where we have done better than others. Uh, and uh, uh, clearly the, the urban areas are doing very, very well. But when you speak of the rural areas, uh, we have some areas that have done much better than others. And uh, it remains a very important area of focus for us uh, to get activity levels up there. Uh, and part of that agenda also speaks to us being able to, to ensure that we have the right support from the agent infrastructure as well, right? Uh, yeah. So a lot of work going in there uh, and uh, uh, definitely a, a huge opportunity because we do have quite uh, a number of, uh, uh, a large portion of the population that is still sitting in those in those areas. Mm, right, right. Yeah. Uh, Okay, uh, moving on next is Samuel. Samuel says, uh, I want to find out how banks are helping out in development of e-commerce business in Zambia in terms of API integration. Okay, so, so, so this speaks to, uh, to, 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 to the collaboration I referred to, right? So we're working with a number of partners. Uh, and even when I spoke through the, uh, some of the services on Tenga, uh, I did mention that we have quite a number of um, uh, bill payment options in there, as well as merchant payment solutions uh, uh, that a customer can can make use of. So, in our attempt to grow that space, right, it, it goes without saying then that we have to accommodate uh, people that would come and 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 have uh, uh, opportunities for us to connect with them, 
right? So even when it comes to 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 e-commerce, I think it's a very very uh, important part uh, of uh, the, the 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 digital ecosystem. Uh, and from what I understand of the market today, uh, there are a number of banks that have their own capability around that space, uh, but also a number of fintechs have come uh, up with uh, uh, similar solutions. Uh, and definitely, if you if 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 if, if you reference a bank like Atlas Mara, would welcome any such opportunity. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, next is from Christopher uh, Chilenga says. What is the split between USSD and app users roughly? So we're doing about 75% uh, USSD. Wow, that's still quite high. Yeah, yeah. but I, I think that is the reality, right? Again, you know, when people mm. are talking about digital banking, they're coming up with a lot of fancy stuffs, but without really looking at the ground reality that in a lot of the markets, USSD, specifically in emerging markets, USSD is still a reality, right? And uh, and and and, uh, and many people don't don't get it. And uh, again, you know, because of the fact that we have been oper and we we we, st we have been in some of these emerging markets for so many years, we we understand that. And uh, you know, yeah. that's where we could build this uh, together with you uh, there. Yeah, and interestingly, it's, it's no longer about a smartphone, right? Because yeah. the users actually have smartphones, but just prefer to use the USSD. Right, right. Because, because why don't you uh, spell it out so that people uh, understand that 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 mindset? Well, well, I think it's 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 probably uh, the fact that they, they they first started out with USSD, right? So. I think uh, 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 digital banking has been a big, a big jump for consumers, right? Yeah. And the fact that you you come to, uh, 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 to to access using USSD, I think you get accustomed. Mm. Uh, I, I think that's what it is, right? Because uh, we we actually thought it was an issue to do with access to smartphones, but now yes. a lot of people have smartphones, but they still use the the USSD much much more often. Would data cost be one one aspect as well? Do you think? Um, I, I wouldn't uh, because uh, most of these apps now are also zero rated, right? right? So it's, we know costs related to data, right? Uh, so so perhaps it could be an awareness issue where people are not clear that they don't get charged. Maybe we can right. deal with that, um, but ideally it shouldn't be because there is zero rating on on the apps. Right, right, right. Yeah, but but I think this is a very, very interesting point that you highlighted, right? Even people have smartphones, but they prefer to use USSD. Uh, mm. Yeah, this, this is fascinating. Yeah. Okay, how many agents do you really have at the point of sales or areas where the fish is being bought from? So, so John, this is from John. I think John mm. is, is quite intrigued with that, uh, in the explanation that you have given for... Uh, 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 you know, for uh, for that that fish that that video that we showed, yeah. Okay, okay. So 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 I think in, in all context, I think the video was was merely illustrative, right? Um, and 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 the real conversation. Remember, like I mentioned, this was probably an initial, a very initial uh, uh, video we did when we were uh, launching Tenga, uh, because today. Uh, we would want that video to end perhaps with the customer not actually going to get cash to pay for the fish. We would want them to receive that money and directly pay from Tenga into the fisherman's Tenga for their fish, right? So it's really allowing the, the merchant payment piece to evolve uh, so that any commercial transaction of that nature does not have to involve the cash, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. And this is something that, you know, uh, the slide that I showed on the innovation slide, there is an impost capability that we mm. have uh, built. And, and that is something is particularly becoming very popular right now where, uh, you know, uh, specifically after COVID where, uh, you know, uh, people are trying to avoid touching cash, but these small merchants are still has been used to dealing in cash, but then they are, they cannot carry the POS devices. Right. And that is where, how do we convert uh, and give them these the small uh, small merchants the capability to convert their mobile phone into a POS device, so that from that mobile phone itself they can they can accept uh, you know digital payments. Uh, 
and and this is uh, and this is enabling banks to acquire uh, you know merchants at a you know a lower segment of merchants which were un earlier unviable to acquire uh, previously uh, yeah so no absolutely uh, now again john as a continuation to that that is asking uh, the merchant route will be best and okay it's it's an opinion the merchant route will be best and efficient in such instances i think he is resonating to what you just mentioned uh, uh, then john is also saying i think majority of i think majority of consumers try to run away from the use of apps due to data and network coverage okay maybe probably john uh, you, that can be a possibility mm -hmm. uh, Harrison is saying, as USSD user, my reason for not using apps is because I just don't see a need for app. Like, what will the app do that I can't already do through USSD? Okay, Harrison, it's it's another uh, thank you for that perspective because uh, you know these inputs also gives us better insights to what people are really thinking. And and mm. it, it's been a, in a, in a thank you for that input. Uh, Victor is asking, I would like to know if mobile banking app can be improved in a way to help new customers open savings and current accounts by taking selfie photos, upload necessary documentations instantly, not only restricted to Tenga account, which is mobile number. Yes, 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 definitely. I, I think it's 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 simply suggesting that we allow for uh, account opening through mobile banking, which which we can. Uh, uh, if if you have used Tenga, uh, the Tenga app, you will be aware that currently we are able to allow you upload your your KYC, um, your photo uh, uh, through the app. And uh, I think it's 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 a fair comment to suggest that we are able to allow you to do that from your mobile app. I think currently we've just uh, launched uh, this capability uh, to open accounts on our website. Uh, so definitely it's a work in progress to get this also to flow through to, to the mobile app. Absolutely, absolutely. And now technologies are available, right? So for example, you know, uh, we have also introduced this capability uh, around digital onboarding where you can, you know, where uh, customers can take the selfie, do facial recognition with their ID, uh, mm. do OCR capturing of the of the information directly from the ID, do ID proofing, then do liveness detection, and with AI, you know, do these matching and evaluation, and and then give it to the uh, either directly open an account based on the bank's risk policies, or 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 send it to our uh, a bank's uh, uh, personnel who can then look at these outputs and these AI uh, AI based uh, uh, analysis. To take a take a call and approve or reject, so yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. You know, technologies to Victor technologies are available, and I'm sure uh, you know uh, for a bank like uh, uh, Atlas Mara and uh, and Tenga, I'm sure they are exploring all these uh, possibilities around the technology. Mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Any any other question? Uh, I don't see any. Uh, I'll give. Uh, 15 seconds if anybody wants to put any further question uh, otherwise we'll we'll end yeah but uh, again Cheza thank you so much for your time I understand that we had uh, uh, allocated one hour uh, of your time but really appreciate you giving us uh, you know more time than was uh, already allocated uh, and really appreciate sharing the Tenga story with us. Uh, as I said, I see Tenga to be, uh, you know, to be that digital bank and that uh, digital story, which has really you know, created the true impact uh, in, mm -hmm. in, in the lives of the people uh, and uh, not talked about in the global circle yet, but uh, I hope you know, through this, through today's conversation, uh, people, you know, people will take note of, and you, you know, uh, we will see more of Tenga in, in, you know, at at a global scale uh, as 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 a name, because it should, because what you guys have done, uh, you and your team and Atlas Mara, 
uh, Zambia is is just uh, fantastic. Yeah, and congratulations to to the whole team. Uh, I think uh, absolutely. I'll pick up from your last comment, uh, 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 Roy. It's it's really a big, big, big thank you to the team behind Tenga. I think the management team here at Atlas Mara, uh, the retail digital teams, uh, our IT and project teams, and everybody else. I think this has been a fantastic delivery uh, and uh, a real testimony of what what can come uh, when we really focus on delivering for for the customer. So it's a job well done to the whole team here. No, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, one last question uh, is: uh, I just wanted to take because I don't want to. You know, uh, we have answered every question, but we will. Uh, uh, before that, Christopher, uh, you know, this is something uh, that Christopher has raised. That if if he has any any further question, can he raise somewhere else? So after this, I will show a slide where we will have uh, have a contact detail. Uh, uh, you will see. You can put your questions, uh, follow-up questions there, and also I can ask my team to also put uh, the contact detail on the uh, you know the email ID on the chat so that uh, the audience can take note of that. Uh, so uh, before we uh, we end, uh, one question from uh, Chachula uh, saying, "How many customers have so far been captured in Tenga?" So I think this is we answered uh, during the course. So currently, I think Tenga has around a million customers, a more, in, a, a, in a close to a million mm. customers right now. Just shy of a million. Yeah, just shy of a million. So, and they have achieved this uh, in a mere uh, short time of two years, which is uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, again, congratulations uh, to the team. Uh, I will just quickly, uh, you know, sh share. Uh, the the contact detail. If anybody wants to, uh, sorry, anybody wants to. Okay, so sorry that slide is uh, not here, but uh, I will uh, I will type it here. Uh, here or also you can write to me directly. Okay, feel free. I'm always eager to hear from uh, from people. Okay. So this is my email, and uh, the other one is our general email, uh, which goes to my team, and then they can respond to your questions. Yeah. Okay, and there is our phone number as well. Uh, in case anybody wants to uh, contact us directly, all right. With that, again, uh, Cheza, thank you very much for your time, and thank you to all the audience uh, to be with us patiently uh, for uh, last one hour and twenty minutes. And uh, looking forward to see you in our next month boardroom talk session with another story, another uh, interesting journey of uh, of another. Uh, exciting uh, venture that uh, one of our partners have done thank you very much have a good day thank you good day thank you